Hey guys, it's up, it's me, Tritonus, once again. We are back, Sly 3. We're going to play, uh, which episode is this? One, two, three. Episode three, Flight of Fancy. Yep, episode three. Uh, I'm really gonna like this level. I gotta say, it's one of my favorites in the game. Really gonna enjoy it. Benley was obsessed. Every night he pour over the blueprints to Dr. Ng's fortress and do it all over them apparently into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. It's very big of him to admit that there are people better than him at that. Uh-oh. Chat room. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, <laughs> I finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. <laughs> oh man, lol. She they actually use lol. Her invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. The best of the best Apparently, of the best. Her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. Whoa! A big time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He must have stolen that mustache he's so from Tom Selleck. That he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. Nice little flowers, foreground. A few days later, she sent us a counter offer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. <laughs> Even though the picture on the license looks nothing like him, but oh well. We proved to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge. Oh man, he's asking her for a pick? Are you serious? She's one of the few people who I've seen with actual hand growing out of her neck. Do you see that? Flight of fancy. Getting a fancy flying. Scoop up, beep, 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 beep. Okay, anytime you want to do this, come on. Here we go. Oh, the guard's got shiny stuff in his back pocket. Oh, Carmelita's here. That's a positive and a negative, I guess. Brightens up the scenery, gotta admit. Uh, I really should have taken cardio. Bridge was making noise, even though it wasn't really doing anything. And he sticks the landing. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here all week. All right, it's time to check the ThiefNet computer, see if there's anything worth buying. Hover pack, I gotta get that for later. That's pretty much paraglider. Thank you, I've been missing that. Rocket boots, these are completely useless. I can't even afford them anyway. Yeah, Murray's not really, like, required to get anything, so he's set right off the bat. Uh, huh. I'm trying to think. Do I need anything else here? I don't think so. Let's get the smoke bomb just for the heck of it. Just because I feel like splurging. Oh yeah, we gotta turn the screen black so we can get into our disguise. We gotta censor it. Can't see the raccoon who never wears pants changing. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we all need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? 
in years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane. Reaching for the sound system remote. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic Got it. remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the What kind of but not booze is that? What's the name of that? Iota? Do we have a mole on the inside? No, I think it's at hotel. Friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give Iota. commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout him out somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. <laughs> He's got a point. I mean, if we're all going to be killing each other tomorrow anyway, why not get into a fight today? Because we couldn't kill each other tomorrow, that's why. I gotta say, this is a pretty ritzy place. Well, not ritzy, but it's pretty fancy. I mean, you got all the flags all over the place. You got a nice little cozy fireplace with a giant hunk of meat cooking over it. A non-egotistical picture of the Baron, of course. Whoa, look at... Are you guys seeing this? That's one of the guards from Dimitri's place back in the last game. Reference much? Oh well, moving on. Now you see we're standing right here, but look where we have to stand to start talking to him. <laughs> Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never paid you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. <laughs> they seem to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poop cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little bit. Ugh, with pleasure. Alright, start talking before I shove your tail down your throat. No, that's not an option. Okay. Oh, actually, that could be an option. Let's try it. Listen, pal. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True <laughs> that, Raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Uh, he's got a point. Oh well. Let's try to threaten to expose him. You might want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron. Then you'd be out of a job. I'd have no job, and you'd have no not a flight line. Go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. I hate the smart ones. Okay, let's use the logical argument. We both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. <laughs> I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. The jig is pinched? Never heard that one. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Dot dot dot. The dots were important. Had to accentuate him. Uh, compliment him, make him feel good, swear to keep it all a secret, promise to protect him. Let's promise to protect him. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. That Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many, many commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. <sighs> okay. I better split the video here.